Hey everybody, this is Matthew J and I'm coming at you from Warframe. Today I'm going to show you how to defeat the Archon Beryl. Now, also known as the Owl one, or the Loki Prime fused with the head of an owl. Whichever you want to call it. But I'm going to show you the quick way to beat him. Okay, I'm lying to you. There's actually no quick way to beat him, I don't think. It's still going to take you at least 10-15 minutes to beat him, in my opinion. Now, if you can beat him faster, please, by all means, let me know down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to hear you out and tell us how you did it. I appreciate it. Now, without further ado, let's get this battle started. actually shows up do not back away do everything you can to get inside of it it will harm you and once you're inside you'll see the red bar go back to red and just shoot them and the blue orb will disappear okay and every time that blue orb shows up just go back inside again now i found it's quicker to use your pistol then to use the bow and arrow, charge time, charge time can mean heal time. Yeah, I don't like that. I want no heal time. This guy's a pain in the ass as it is, and I'm not going to begin to tell you how many times this is actually heal, because that's kind of embarrassing. And before anybody says anything, yes, I know. I really suck with a bow. Not gonna lie. But the difference is between getting up to 544 damage compared to a pistol, which only does like 45. So I think it's pretty much a no brainer. I'm gonna stick with the, the bow. Now, every once in a while, he'll do this for the second he's come through. He can't be damaged, but don't trip. He's not healing himself either, so that's good. Now, once the sentients are all destroyed, it's business. Okay, now we're Again, get inside the blue orb. It's not like a shield. I mean, it can block your bullets from the outside, but it will not block your bullets from the inside, and it will not block you from entering. So go ahead and get in there. Now that one right there, I'm going to 
sentient, that will damage you. Stay away from that. Shampoo, okay? Wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. There's actually kind of a cycle. And if for any reason you should happen to die, at least, one, at least once. If you happen to die once while you're fighting them in this area, it's not that big of a deal. And a little bit, I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. If you die once, the Shadow Stalker will actually come back and heal you. One time. Down. Hunt Brow shows up, says, Shadow, we need your help. He shows up, revives you, which is really, really crazy. Like I said, somebody else. It's like the uh, enemy of my enemy is my friend. out and then he goes to another scene. Why do you conspire against me, Father? There is and peace you're gonna have to go and find him somewhere now. else. The first in centuries, our people will finally flourish. Now when you go through these corridors, you're gonna be coming across a bunch of Vermeer and Sentient, so please be careful. One. Are you trying to convince me? Or yourself, son? I was told by somebody else to die at least one Why time. Why did you conspire against while you're me, Father? After uh, you there defeat is peace and um, now. Pharrell the first, the first time, in and he goes off to his second stage, you die once. Because we I was told to reset the, pyramid of the whole uh, stalker. All of us so that he'll actually come and help you during the second time. Are you trying to convince me? Or yourself, son? Why did you conspire against me, Father? There is peace and dominion now. The first in centuries. Our people will finally flourish as we were meant to, atop the pyramid of living things. All of us, as one. Are you trying to convince me? Or yourself, son?
Now, once we come over here, yeah, you gotta take the long way around. So you're gonna go through this door. Now, inside here, you're gonna have a bunch of sentience in here. Come on, man. Don't make me a liar. I know. I will miss him at point blank. Again, don't forget to heal yourself. Yeah, no, I got scared by a rock. I don't know how I feel about the new. It's gonna take me some time to get used to this. I wonder if the cypher will work on it. I guess we'll have to find out. Well, better question is, I wonder if these are gonna take place even after the new war. Again, we'll have to wait and find out. Hang back here and just wipe out the enemies to come down the tunnel because you know they will just come down the tunnel. If you ever played this one and you found yourself cussing at some imaginary uh, 
sentient made animal prime warframe hybrid and find yourself cussing at it because you're getting frustrated as shit, leave a comment down below. I would really love to know. I was not really don't really want to know. I just want to make sure I wasn't sure. That's why I said die back there after, because I pretty much told me that uh, it resets the stalker. Now again, I'm not sure if that's true. He may reset automatically by himself, but if you know for a fact, you know, please in the comments let me know. Now you're not going to be able to kill him right here. He's going to jump on you, tap it, get him off, shoot him. That time I messed up real bad, I couldn't find him, I couldn't track him, I couldn't. So, yeah, I gave him too much health back. That's why it's really important to jump into that blue shield as fast as you can. I'm stuck, stop, stop. I messed up the terrain. Also, don't forget to use your scanner, too. You need to know where that guy is at all times.
Ah, shit, behind me. Go. You beat him. Go up there, grab the shard. I hope I was able to help you out. If I was, please drop that like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have fun out there, and I will catch you guys next time on. Uh